gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Good indeed. Excellent work, everybody. You will all receive free chicken. I bribe the audience with free chicken. It's old. Their enthusiasm will lead to food poisoning later. I know that enthusiasm has sometimes made me feel sick. I don't really know where I'm going with this. <laughs> However, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It is. It's a, it's a great day. It's Friday, of course. Hooray! I love Friday. Ooh, Friday. And also... <laughs> yeah, pixelate that, man. It's a great day for America's favorite gosh darn couple, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. <laughs> And that, they're both, apparently they're both selling their houses and they're moving in together. Isn't that adorable? Oh. Apparently they look, yeah, oh, oh, you didn't know? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with you? Don't you have websites? <laughs> apparently they're looking for a house with two garages. One for his Lamborghini, another one for her ass. <laughs> because... <laughs> you start the joke with a Kardashian ass joke? Yep. <laughs> Uh, you know that J.C. Penney has an ad in the new catalogue? This is true. I always go through the uh, catalogue, the J.C. Penney catalogue, looking for interesting items. And <laughs> they've got a, 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 a feature, a pair of uh, gay dads. And I'm like, oh, that's good. Some people were shocked by the ad, especially the guy's wives. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> you don't go up there to go fishing. <laughs> movie opening this weekend I'm very excited about. <laughs> I couldn't give a rat's ass. But it's a, no, it's a big movie. It's a Snow White and the Huntsman. No, what they're doing, the Hollywood's taking a beloved children's story and turned it into another kind of Twilight thing. You know, it's a, if they really want to make m m money on this movie, they should call it uh, Snow White and the Avengers. That's what you want. You got a, you got a poster for the movie? There you are. Snow White and the Huntsman. Snow White is the girl from Twilight. You know, the angry stoned girl. Uh... <laughs> She's got to be high, because she didn't choose Jacob. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Twilight and The Hunger Games are both very successful movies, and they both have plucky young female leads. So this movie tries to turn Snow White into a beautiful young badass. But it doesn't make sense. You can't turn Snow White into a badass. It's, it's, like, turning, it's like turning Mel Gibson into a rabbi. That's what that's like. <laughs> It's like, uh, Jeff, Jeff, what's it like? It's like... It's like uh, turning Regis Philbin into a mute. Okay, all right. It's like, uh, it's like turning Michael Vick into a dog sitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like turning Mitt Romney into not a robot. You saying Mitt Romney's a robot? Oh, yes, I am. Can you tell? Yeah, he's the Romneybot 5000. Is that, is that a real thing? Yeah, it's true. All that money comes right out of his ass. So, so he's kind of like an ATM? He's got an ATM in his ass, that's right. Yeah. That, that, that's useful. Yeah, I've got one as well, but no. it's not my ass. Yeah, all right, that's enough. You know, the, I'm talking about the movie, the, uh, what was I talking about? Snow White. And the Huntsman, yeah, the movie has uh, uh, Charlize Theron as the evil queen. And every morning she speaks into the mirror, she's like, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> That's from the movie. And she's a person willing to commit murder just to keep a more youthful appearance. And we have a name for that type of person in Los Angeles. It's called Everyone. <laughs> Oh, I'd do it. 
if I had an appearance that I wanted to keep. I talk to my mirror every morning. When I'm naked, I'm like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me, where are my balls? <laughs> and the mirror says, on the floor. I'm like, oh, I, I thought I was standing on hamsters. Anyway, what? Then the movie, uh, the, yeah, the movie, the, the queen banishes Snow White because of her beauty, but the dwarves help Snow White because they are smitten by that very same beauty, which teaches kids an important lesson. Nothing matters except for your looks. <laughs> TBS cares. Uh, the Hollywood studios love making movies out of the old fairy tales because uh, these are stories connected to our history and because they're in the public domain so they don't have to pay anyone for the film rights. Craig, are you saying that Hollywood will do anything to avoid giving people money? Look. Last year they made a, a teenage version of Red Riding Hood. I never liked that story anyway. I get sad when the wolf eats the grandmother because I was raised by a pack of wild grandmothers. <laughs> and by pack I mean one and by wild I mean she enjoyed knitting. <laughs> but people love fairy tales and Hollywood wants a big summer blockbuster. Uh, and it makes sense you get the big summer fairy tale movies. Now the, the concept of the big summer blockbuster did not exist until Jaws in 1975. I'm surprised no one's combined Jaws with fairy tale. Snow White and the... Seven Sharks. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Little Red Riding Chum. Sleeping Foodie. Okay. <laughs> I th I, no, they did combine Jaws with a fairy tale. Snow, the Snow White movie a couple of months ago, Mirror Mirror, that had Julia Roberts in it. So that's uh, Snow White and kind of Jaws. You got a poster for that movie? There you are, look at that. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger apple. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you got any other movies that could make into uh, uh, you know, uh, fairy tales into movies? Oh, well, what about uh, what about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. You could use CGI for the bears, or just cast uh, three Kardashians. <laughs> 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 Big one, small one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know, I know one. I'd like to see a movie about old Mother Hubbard, you know. In a world where the cupboard is bare, <laughs> one old mother fetches her dog a bone. But you could do that, because then they could put Samuel Jackson in the movie so he could say, You're one mean Mother Hubbard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, that's not custom. Are you going to go see that movie then this weekend? Oh, I'm running right out this year. <laughs> well, what else are you going to go and see then? What movies have you seen you like recently? Oh, I, I can't really mention those on the air. <laughs> You're talking gay robot porn movies? Yeah, sex robot movies. Maybe. Sex robot yeah. movies? What, what sex robot movies have you seen? One called C3PO. <laughs> So you see right. three, three, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, look, there's three of them. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh what, are, what are they doing? Oh, yeah, no, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably get in trouble for that, I think. Yeah. And he's on the phone. Yeah. We're in trouble. Want to do the commercial? I'd love to. Come on, then. Tonight's program is brought to you by the movie event of the summer. The story of a man and his forbidden lust for fairy tale. Craig Ferguson is the goose that laid the golden eggs. 